I told him we had to make eggnog. So I made eggnog. <laughs> we made eggnog. We've been making eggnog probably five or six years. It actually started with Marie coming to me and saying, we have to produce eggnog because our customers are asking for it. And neither of us liked eggnog. So we got the ingredients and the two of us worked in the kitchen. It took quite a while to come up with the recipe that we both agreed on because uh, I felt, we both did, that a lot of the eggnog on the market was very spicy with a lower quality base. So it didn't give it, you know, that, that old fashioned feeling. So we use half and half for a base and then it's not overspiced, just that perfect blend. We wanted to take it back to our ancestors kind of flavor. I think we did a pretty good job at that. We did. This is my great grandmother's family farm. My father was a dairy farmer before me. We started the processing plant in 2012. My mother's family manufactured butter and ice cream in Godrich, Ontario. And it was a lifelong ambition of perhaps taking the family back to that. We discover a small marketing area in central Ontario. A uh, couple hours out from Cremor is all we do, but we produce 35,000 bottles of eggnog in the season. And uh, we stopped making that just before New Year's, just to make sure everything that uh, we have on our cooler gets into the stores and the stores get it all sold because yeah. nobody wants to buy eggnog in January. Yes, everybody makes resolutions to like lose weight in the new year. <laughs>